Hello, Mr. Randy Duck, and welcome back for another video and another giveaway. So today I am giving away the T8 German medium tank, the Camber Panzer 07 RH, Tier 8 German uh, medium tank. Now, all what you need to do to enter this giveaway is leave a comment with exclamation mark duck, followed by your gamer tag and which console you play on. The draw will end on 20, the Saturday the 21st of October, so Saturday the 21st this month. Uh, the giveaway will end at which point I will do the draw, I will respond to the comment of the lucky winner, and then I will update the description of who the winner is. So on the Saturday the 21st at some point, probably check at the end of the day, and you'll be able to see who the winner is. Um, um, so yeah, that's it. Just leave a comment with exclamation mark duck, uh, followed by your game tag and which console you are on and yeah i've got two replays today to show you what the tank can do and what you can potentially be winning so i will stop rambling and let's get on with this video okay so on to the first replay here on swamp now we are top tier in this game we are platooned up with our buddy jamus and there's one enemy fun please and there's three enemy light tanks so initially we're going to cross up to this position um, and see if we can spot anyone crossing. Now this tank, the best way to, to describe it I would say, is almost like a hybrid light tank slash medium tank. Because you've got decent camo of 282, I've got it down with this current um, setup. But you have very good mobility, you've got 65 uh, kilometers an hour top speed. But it gets to that top speed very, very quickly indeed. So it, the tank is very mobile. Uh, so it's a very, very mobile medium tank. In the terms of a gun, you don't have a big penetration on your standard rounds. You only have 205 in your standard rounds. And then you have 255 on your heat rounds. Um, sometimes the penetration could be a bit of an issue. But, you know, it's, it's not. you can get around that. Um, and the shell velocity is not fantastic. You only have 200 alpha on these rounds, but you have an incredible reload. I think I've got it down to like 3.4 seconds. So although you only have 200 alpha, if you get in the right situation, then you can pick up damage quite quickly because you have that you know, very, very decent reload. And then the important thing I could say about this tank, it does have HEP rounds for the HE rounds. Now so that basically means you have 90 penetration on your HE rounds with 320 alpha now if you combine that with the fact that you have like a 3.4 second reload if in the right scenario you're able to get targets like an iron rain or lightly armored targets for example you know you can penetrate with that 90 alpha you can get a lot of damage so i probably i've got five loaded i might actually i think i should probably increase that to get a little bit more because in the right scenario you can pick up a lot of damage with those he rounds I find in terms of the gun, it shouldn't be, but it feels a little bit derpy at times. But I think that's really because of the sh slow shell velocity. It feels that way. Um, the actual aim time is pretty decent on this tank, though, however. So, yeah, in terms of that, it's pretty good. But I found the gun sometimes felt a little bit derpy. You obviously have no armor. You have 8 degrees of gun depression. But I always sort of see this tank as like a almost like a light tank slash medium tank. That's how, how I kind of play it, if I'm honest. So we're in this position, like I said, we are topped in, we're able to farm here. We've pushed quite aggressively, we've trapped all the tanks in the enemy base, and we're trying to rack up the damage. We've already picked up two kills and around about 1,700 damage. We get another kill shot on the enemy farm police, picking up our third kill here. And as we come around here, we spot uh, enemy TD pulling for us. So yeah, we actually get lucky, he bounces that shot, and we're going to be able to finish him off before he reloads there, picking up our fourth kill. And then we've got this enemy STA2. Now we know we can penetrate this with the HEP rounds. That's why we swap to it, because like I say, if you can penetrate stuff like that, you're going to be able to pick up damage quickly. We spot an Iron Rain, we pen that for 300. Now this really increases our DPM. We spot this, obviously, Emil, yeah, we know we can pen this with the HE rounds. And this makes a big difference to the damage outcome at the end if you find targets like this. Because like I say, we've, you know, with that quick reload with 320 alpha, 
you really rack through through the kills in the right scenario. Obviously, you have to be able to pen it, but there's a lot of targets you can pen with 90 HE rounds. And if you don't pen it, it's not in the world because you know you've got a very quick reload. Um, so here, this game's pretty much done, but we're on six kills, so we're trying to push aggressively to try and pick up the kills. I'm with here with Jamis. I actually said to Jamis at this point, look, can you let me have the kill because it's going to be my uh, uh, Devastator medal? And he kindly obliges and lets me get that kill there. So we do pick up the seventh kill. And I was thinking, well, I could get a pause. It's a possibility. But then a tank gets taken out, so it's not going to be possible. But there's two tanks left, and I'm thinking, well, let's try and get the Radleys if we can. We're on 4,000 damage, 400 assistance. Like I say, it's been a little bit of a, a waffle stop this particular game. Uh, the second replay is actually a tier 10 game, so you're going to get to see what the tank's like, bottom tier, uh, to give you a bit of balance uh, between the two. Um, but we're just coming in now, these tanks are getting farmed by everyone, so I'm just trying to get around and pick up some damage. Uh, seeing an enemy uh, heavy tank here, we get one in, but obviously we only have 200 alpha. We're hoping can we get the like, final shot in, but it just gets taken out to stop us getting the Radleys. And unfortunately, this tank gets taken out with a fun police, so we don't pick up the Radleys there, but we do get seven kills. Um, and a respectable amount of damage, but we were quite heavily top tier in that lobby. But let's see how we did. We get seven kills, 4,200 damage, 500 assistance, a devastator, high caliber, but we only get uh, the first class. But we've got one more replay to come, so let's move on. Okay, so here we are for the final replay of the video, this time on proc. Now, it is a tier 10 lobby. Uh, I think there's three enemy light tanks, but importantly, no enemy fun police in the game. So it does give us a little bit more freedom to play the ridge line um, and just try and spot the enemy team. But on the enemy team, they do have a three man chieftain platoon. Now, if that chieftain platoon comes to the ridge lines in front of us, that's going to be very awkward because they are a chieftain with no fun police to deal with. Um, on a map like Proc, where they can use that ridge line, you know, it's going to be perfect for them. You know, you've got a ten, you've got um, ten degrees of gun depression, a decent turret, so you can poke those ridge and look for the shots, and you don't have to worry about being shot from above. So they are a bit of a problem, and they have come to this ridge line. So that's just something we need to be uh, conscious of. Enemy VZ is pushed into the bowl. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm looking for shots into the VZ because he's the furthest forward in the bowl. He's the most likely to spot our friendly team, but he is taking uh, a lot of punishment for that, uh, you know, for that poke there. But we do need to be conscious of the fact that when we poke, we don't have the best armor. We don't have, well, we don't really have any armor, um, to, to be fair. Um, so we have to be conscious that any tank destroyers at the back could get shots into us. So we're mainly poking for vision and you know quick opportunities to get a shot in i'm not going to go up to that ridge and stop aim a shot for that vz take my time and shoot it it's just not worth it if i can't get the shot i can't get a shot i'm just going to snap shots in like that if they pen the pen if they don't they don't i don't want to waste time um you know i want to expose myself for as little as possible um whilst maintaining vision for my team because obviously we have enemy light tanks on our team but to be honest with you, me poking here is a good chance of spotting tanks at the back on the one line if they poke up. And when that VZ does things like that and pokes a little bit too high, then I'm going to take that window of opportunity to get a shot in. We've got him down to maybe a one shot to us or maybe a two shot. He's a little way, but we only have 200 alpha. So more likely a two shot. We do have the heat rounds in here because you know we just want to make sure we're going to pen those shots uh, against the VZ considering we don't have a lot of time to aim them. Uh, gonna go and get a cheeky one into the cupola and we actually managed to land that shot penning that shot putting him onto a one shot to us now um, Obviously he's kind of my focus at the moment because He's just furthest to tank forward like I say and he's on a one shot So if I can take out a tier 10 tank uh, Then that's obviously gonna be very helpful to our team looking for the shot It looks like our friendly light tank might be going in but he hasn't I'm thinking he might he might start to go in now knowing that the VZ is a one shot At what which point I will try and help him out but I picked up a lot of assistance there for some spot in that 1-2 uh, line, which is obviously why I keep poking. Um, because I could potentially pick up quite a lot of assistance in this map. I do have decent camo. And when this game gets a little bit, um, you know, with a few more tanks dies, it'll be a little bit easier and you, you start to get more windows of opportunity. Um, so we do was able to take out the VZ when he was distracted from our light tank, which is nice. So at least that's taken care of that. We get a nice penetration shot into that enemy uh, IS-3 there, um, or, or Unskin Fireland, I think it was. 
and putting him down onto a one shot now putting us onto about a thousand damage one kill and around about two thousand assistance there but this is still a pretty close game so it's kind of you know in the balance at this point again we don't want to do anything too drastic we are we're just looking for opportunities we're just trying to keep tanks spotted um, and try and pick up assistance from any of our tanks down the you know one two lines or have shot when they pokes when enemy light tank does this i'm going to try and get a shot in i get a lovely shot in and then jammer sets them on fire and actually picks up the kill which is good because that's another light tank out of the game and i think that's put uh, the enemy team down to one enemy light tank which is very very good because when that gets taken out when i'm you know, have a lot more chance of spotting stuff but at this point, every time I poke, you know, these chieftains are going to potentially uh, proxy spot me if they poke a little bit higher. And now I'm thinking maybe I try and get into the bowl to try and extend the vision for our team. Um, because I feel like it's that sort of time. I have a lot of cover and support, but I feel relatively safe that if someone tries to force in the bowl to kill me. I'm hoping to lose my spot just before I get in the bowl. I might have been a little bit impatient here. I probably could have waited a second because I don't really want to go in here uh, detected. But thankfully, I do lose my spot when I go in. And I'm able to get into the bowl for free, which is good because now I'm going to extend the vision. As you see, spotting that enemy eyes free at the back. Hopefully, he's going to get taken out by our friendly uh, team now. And he does. He gets taken out by a jammer, so up two, mate. And we're able to spot this enemy ruthless in the middle of the map. Um, from pushing into that bowl now this is good because one I have farms on this tank but also any shots you know which from our team going in there this is my spot here so I'm going to pick up a lot of assistance and you see my assistance does start to rack in there putting us onto 3,000 damage uh, ruthless shoots he's on the one shot it gets taken out by our friendly VZ and there's only six enemy tanks remaining but I still got to be careful because there's still tier 10s, so like those chieftains, you know, they think there's a chieftain just below us. He wouldn't actually take long to get through our hit points if we started to sort of throw them away. So we need to be a little bit conscious of that. And again, I'm just trying to expose myself for as little as possible. Um, because I don't, you know, I'm thinking it's probably not much down the one two line anymore. And I'm hoping our team's going to push up. Um, and then they can basically, if they do win the one two line now, things like this chieftain, they can just shoot in the rear basically, and then they'll basically, you know, they won't really have anywhere to go. Um, so I'm trying to get shots into this light tank here. Unfortunately, that one misses, but I was targeted, and I'm being careful of this chieftain who was looking for shots into us. Try and sneak one into the cupola. Unfortunately, that one doesn't pen. Um, and it's starting to get to that situation where you know these tanks are kind of trapped now and i'm hoping my team if my team do go in i'm going to go in as well um, and between us we should make light work of these two tanks so we get it looks like that's what's happening these team tanks are distracted i've realized that right i'm just going in now try and get as much damage in this quick short space of time as possible um, we get a couple here into this uh, stone cold who's already dumped his shots and now we manage to pick up the kill. We should be able to get another shot into this chieftain. Not sure whether we'll get the kill or not. Looks unlikely. And it only leaves one tank remaining. But we've had a good game here. You know, we've got you know tier 10 matchmaking. We've got 3,000 assistance. Basically 3,000 damage. And two kills. And there's one enemy tank, which is the Murat. I'm almost certain this tank is on the sort of hill on the, on the right-hand side of this uh, mini-map. And that is where I'm going to go ideally i just want to i don't know how much health this tank's on i'm hoping he's full health um he can clip us out but i just want to get there and spot them first so I, you know, I really want to be the first person to spot this tank because i've already got 3,000 assistants and you know i could pick up some more unfortunately i don't spot the the you're more at there but he, he's he's playing a little bit safe so i'm trying to think oh maybe i'll be able to get over there because you see how quick this tank is you know i've got 65 kilometers an hour but it's it's the fact i think you get to that top speed um, so quickly is why I kind of put the comparison almost into a sort of medium slash light tank uh, play style um, and I'm just going to go in on this tank if I die I, I really don't care at this point if I get one extra shot of damage but it's worth it and we're going to go for the jump we've got to give it a go haven't we we do jump into him he's going to dump his clip into us at this point he's probably going to finish us off he gets around and i'm hoping i'm going to reverse back but our platoon mate jamis decides that he's going to push us and stop us reversing back because he's a nice guy like that <laughs> no i'm only joking um, and we do end up you know getting the win let's see how we got on there jamis had a lovely game there we get the ace tanker um, and we do get you know 3000 damage 
3,000 assistance. Jambus gets 5,000 damage there and has a, a really nice game um, itself. So, yeah, that is it for the video. Um, yeah, again, all what you need to do to enter this giveaway is leave a comment with your gamer tag, exclamation mark duck, followed by your, um, sorry, leave a comment with exclamation mark duck, followed by your gamer tag and console. The draw will end on the 21st of this month. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and happy tagging. Enemy in sight!